Good morning, people. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Sometimes things come to me and I just like to share with you guys. A lot of people don't know what I'm trying to do and, you know, create my own business. My business with Denny and my daddy, not Booty and my daddy, Denny and my daddy, these are two separate things, right? What I do is help people get out of debt and never use or believe in credit again, ever, ever, all right? Now, I usually don't cuss in my videos, but sometimes I use cuss words to emphasize what I'm trying to tell you guys, how serious it is, all right? That people, people are in debt, they don't realize they're in debt. So these are things I wish somebody would have said to me when I was deep in debt, you know? And I wish they would have said it like this to me so I can, so I would, it would have helped me open my eyes, right? So let me give you an example, all right? So anybody that don't like cussing, just leave the room now and stop the video or whatever, right? But not a whole bunch, all right? Anyway, I back in the, I, I figured like this. Now think about it. I really want you guys to think about it this way. I didn't realize I was deep in debt until I was about 41 or 42. So all my 40 years of life on this earth, nobody in my immediate circle told me about credit just being straight up just bullshit nonsense. It makes no sense, all right? Nobody said, hey, man, you shouldn't do that, all right? Anyway, I wish somebody would have said this to me, okay? Linnell, can you retire today? And I would have just looked at him and said, no. Then what the fuck are you doing financing a car, a $40,000 car, if you, cannot find, if you cannot retire today? What the fuck are you doing financing a car? I probably would have been like, damn, that makes sense. Another one. Linnell, do you, is, your income, is your income endless? I mean, could you stop today and know your money was coming in forever? No. Then what the fuck are you doing financing a house? I really wish somebody would have said that. And I would have been like, damn, you're right. Somebody would have said this. Linnell, do you know how much is in your retirement? I would have said, well, no. Then what the fuck are you doing with credit cards with $10,000 limits and scanning and just buying stuff up? What the fuck are you doing? That's not your money. Credit is bullshit. Look at the very word, the very meaning of credit. Hey, I can't afford to buy that cash, so can you give it to me on credit and I'll pay you more for it? Linnell, you make $100,000 a year. What are you, a year? What are you doing still living paycheck to paycheck? I would have said, Damn, you're right. You're right. That makes absolutely no sense. Here's another one that people just, I couldn't, no, not people. I could not see when I was in debt. Everybody always talks about the depreciating value of a car, okay? All right, and I'm gonna give you a straight up clean example of the car depreciation depreciates the car depreciation starts at the point of sale, okay? Two people go on a car lot. Say like the car's $30,000, okay? One person pays cash, one person finances it. They get the car, they drive off the lot. The person that paid cash for the car only paid the sale price of the car and taxes, okay? Now it starts, as soon as he drives away, it starts going down in value. The person that financed paid uh, the car, the price of the car, the taxes, and the financing, whatever finance charge they got, whatever percentage rate they got, whatever adds on the, the coating and the, the layer of the, the, the coating of the car, the warranties and all this stuff, that's that person's and interest. So as it goes down in value for the person that financed that car, it's going up in interest charges for the bank giving you the money for that depreciating object. So when two people just, hey man, uh, that car depreciates the value at this rate, for who? The person that bought it cash or the person that financed it? That, those are two different things, two different things. It's obvious there's so much you can see that you, I could not see when I was deep in debt. Now, another thing, if people, the people that follow me, 
I want you to understand, this entrepreneurial stuff, it's not for everybody. People that don't even try, you, when you're out here, you understand failure is part of success. How are you ever going to know how to do something if you don't get out there and try it? And if something goes wrong, you're like, Ooh, oh, damn, I won't do that again because you're learning. And then you got the side people saying they'll see you fail at something because they, they, they don't try anything. They'll see you fail, right? And they'll say, oh, man, that's why I didn't even try that. You didn't try nothing. So what are you talking about? Try. You didn't try nothing. You have no money. You can't try. Too scared to do anything. It's, it's, and, I, and, and I want you to understand this. Okay? People that are thinking about trying to get out there on their own to do something. The pe Let me tell you who are the people that are worst. Okay, The people that are closest to you are the ones that want to see you fail. It's not the, you know, you got strangers, you got trolls, whatever. Trolls are good. I've, known, I've understood trolls, haters, they're, they're hating and trolling for a reason, you know? Because when I come across some, something that somebody doesn't like or they say something, I just keep strolling. I don't, I keep scrolling. I don't care if they, that's their opinion. I, well, I'm going to jump on your page and be mad at you. I just go, oh, okay, let me just keep going. I, that's what, but when they come to me on my page, I'm doing something right. That's how I look at it. I don't take offense to it. I don't care if you don't like it. If somebody would have told me this too, Linnell, five years from now, you are not going to have a job. Uh, you are not going to even want to be in a career that you paid $30,000 for your degree for. You're not even going to want to do it. And you're not going to work for two years by choice. And you're not going to be rich yet. I would have said, are you fucking crazy? I can't even go a month without without uh, without working, begging for overtime. You have no idea what you tell your job when you beg for overtime. Hey, I need for over. I need some overtime. I need some overtime. You know what you're telling your job? I ain't got no money, and you can do you can do anything to me that you wish. You can do anything because I need the money. It's de it's dead serious, man. I'm tell I'm telling you, debt blinds you. Debt keeps you blind. Debt makes you walk on a car lot and finance a depreciating object and not negotiate the price. You see, the, you walk on a car lot and you see it and you say, oh, this car is $10,000. Okay, I'll find it. And then you cross your fingers and hope you get financing for it for, from any bank at any interest rate. Don't ever, you have no idea what you're telling the people that you're doing this with on the car lot. You're telling them. I'm broke. I don't believe I could ever pay cash for a car. I only way I can get a car is finance it. I can't believe out of 40 years of my life, nobody stopped me and said, hey, Linnell, you're doing it wrong. It, I'm two years out. I decided I'm going to take 2018 off. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to have a regular job. 40 hour work weeks plus more, crossing my fingers for two weeks vacation. Fuck that. Are you crazy? I come here every month for two weeks, every month. Go back to that life and wait two weeks a year and maybe, and maybe take it together. Maybe. Cross my fingers and maybe. And then, and then even when I took vacation, I'd be worried about how much work I got left when I come back. Linnell, are you crazy? Why do you think you schedule a vacation? You have to schedule. You can't just wake up one day and say, hey, boss, yeah, I'm taking two weeks off. Bye, click. They'll fire you, right? They'll fire you. It's scheduled so they'll know to put a person in your place while you're gone. Why in the world would you accept a ton of work when you get back from vacation waiting for you? That'd be unacceptable to me. I'd be like, oh, no, uh-uh. Why is this work here? I scheduled my, my vacation months out. Why is this work? Why is this work waiting here for me? You mean to tell me you, you, you guys just waited till I got back? No, you can't do that. No, thank you. Oh, you are? I mean, you can. I mean, they can. It's their business. I'll be like, here's my two weeks. See you later. That's what I would do. And people think I'm lying. Oh, hell, you crazy, man. I wouldn't talk to my job. I would. They hired me. For a reason, because they needed me. You just don't, just because, that's not a, you're not, 
doing me a favor? Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for letting me work for you. <laughs> no, I have a skill. You want me to do it for your business. Business, never mix your feelings with business. As soon as you mix those feelings with business, you're in trouble. As soon as you mix your feelings with your money, you're in trouble. You know how good it felt to say, everybody say, hey man, you gonna get Christmas gifts for no every, people? No. Why not? I ain't got no job. That's what I tell them. I ain't got no job. Oh man, uh, you could fly back and forth to see your girlfriend. What the hell are you talking about my money for? I can do anything I want with my money. I hate it when people do that. Don't let anybody do that. I don't do that with other people's money. I don't care what you do with your money. That's your business. I don't expect anything from anybody. I don't expect nothing. It's your money. Don't hesitate. You guys need to understand the power of no. I will tell somebody no in a minute. I'll tell them no in a minute. Hey, man, you're going to get no. You're going to buy someone. So no. Understand the power of no. You will get so far and then people will understand you. But back to my main subject. If you ever take the chance, think about it like this. This is what I want you to imagine, okay? Imagine what your life would be if you only had to pay for the basic necessities. Rent, power, food, just the basics and necessities, and you had no other bills. That's what the fuck it feels like. And you know how many people are deaf free out here? This many. Can you see my fingers together? See that? See that? That's how many people are deaf free out here. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that is? Because it's hard. It's hard. But when you do it, your eyes will open up. You will see things that you never saw before. All those things you put in the back of your brain to say, oh man, I'll get to that later. I really would love to be doing X, Y, Z for a living, but I can't. I got all these bills. I can't. I need the money, blah, 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 right? But when you get all when those bills disappear, that shit comes right to the front. And you can't turn it off. You can't turn it off. And then you try to explain it to people and they look at you like you a goddamn alien. Hey man, you know, you don't, you can live without credit. You, you don't need a credit card. Oh man, I couldn't make it without no credit card. What you mean? It's not your money. A credit card is a pre-approved loan. Nothing more. Nothing more. Get out of this thing. If somebody rolls up, you gotta, this is what I'm gonna tell you this, okay? And this is how I look at it, okay? If I had a 1992 Honda Accord, right? And a friend of mine came up with a, a 2017 Escalade, but he's making payments, I wouldn't give a shit. It's not your car. It's the bank's Escalade. It's not yours. So don't, don't let people intimidate you when they roll up with you on a nice car with they're making payments on. They're making payments. It's not their car. Now they, gotta, now they, now they owe the bank. Now they're stuck at their job. You can't just make moves. You can't just leave. You got car payments. And then the bank dictates your insurance. Hey, we financed that car for you. We want you to have this kind of car insurance on there. And period. Nobody rules me like that. Nobody. And I don't care what anybody thinks. Oh man, L, you're only debt free because you got an old truck. Are you serious? Did you say that out loud? I'm debt free because I got an old truck. It's crazy. Don't, you, you gotta, you have to step away from people that talk like that. You have to. You gotta tune them out. Don't even say nothing. Just tune them out. Think about it this way. If people, if you have never lived debt free, which I did for 40 years. Never never even knew I was in debt. Never even knew I was in debt. For 40 years. That means all the people you grew up with for 40 years that didn't tell you that there was another way are also living deep in debt. They're also living deep in debt. You got it. You got to see it. You, you got to see it. But if you get out of here on your own as an entrepreneur... Unfortunately, like I said earlier, the people that are closest to you are your worst uh, supporters. For some reason, 
They don't want you to succeed because they don't understand what you're doing. Nor are they asking. They see you doing it. They don't understand how you're doing it. But nor do they ask how you're doing it. They just say, oh man, I'm going to stick with what I'm doing. Let them be. Let them be. I'm going to tell you one thing. I would not trade this for anything else in the freaking world. I would not. I would not. This freedom is amazing. No job owns me. No job. If you can't, if you cannot get up and walk, if you're a person that you're complaining about your job every day, but you can't leave, the only thing you can do is complain, you're in debt. That's why you can't leave. You're in debt. You owe too much. If you're a person that charged Christmas, you're in debt. If you used a credit card to provide Christmas gifts, you're in debt. Else you would have used your own money. If you can't put 20% or more down on a house, you have no money. You're in debt. If you have a student loan, you've been keeping for 20, 30 years, you're in debt. If a financial advisor advises you to say, hey, it's okay to keep your student loan, leave their office immediately. They're only thinking of themselves. Student loan debt is in the trillions. Trillions. You think all those people are doing it right? Only Sally Mae is doing it right. She's a trillionaire. The holder of the most student loans or student loan debt or whatever. It's... it's Many people own different parts of student loan, but trillions, student loan debt is in the trillions. So anybody tell you that it's okay to keep your student loan, don't listen to their financial advice because they are wrong. I'm telling you, I had $30,000 in student loan debt, gone, gone, 30K. And I kept it for, I looked it up on my credit report before I got up here, 11 years, one month. I kept a $30,000 student loan. That sounds like pure insanity to me. 11 years, one month, I kept a student loan. And I've made so much money throughout my career, I couldn't pay off $30,000. I've been in the six digits longer than that. Hmm. I want to slap myself. Are you crazy, Linnell? 11 years, one month to keep a, a $30,000 student loan. I don't even want to add up what I really paid, okay? I'm scared. I might throw up. I might throw up. I don't want to add up. I just paid it off, and I'm, I'm really good with numbers now. I don't want to add it up because I, I know I will cry. Anyway, that's my rant today. I'm hitting the gym. Got to get, got to work off this, uh, this holiday food because, believe it or not, people, I have not eaten right, okay? I'm eating good. I was eating good. Good. All right. All right. You guys have a good one. Uh, have a wonderful uh, New Year's coming up here. And, and Monday. Yeah, it's coming up. 2018. 2018 is going to be big for me, people. I'm telling you. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. People are not going to believe me until I make my first million. But if I can help people along the way, hey, I'm going I'm to do it. All right. You guys have a good one. Later.